Good afternoon, everybody. It's Thursday, the 2nd of July, and uh, we are coming to you from our beautiful sanctuary at First Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Heidi Heimgartner. I'm Pastor Mike Willarius. And we are pretty excited about what's going to be happening this Sunday. We also know that um, for our drive-in worship, this special opportunity for worship, you probably have a few questions, and we wanted to prepare you just a little bit about how we'd like things to um, work for your safety, but also for our togetherness. So we first want to start with a couple of stories since we'll be having communion this Sunday. Pastor Mike. Yeah. So as we were talking about communion and sort of distance communing, um, it reminded me of um, about a year ago, I was home. I think it was like a staycation or something. My family, we worshiped at home and it was a communion Sunday. And I have, um, elements that I bring with me for going to nursing homes or visitation and so I set up communion at home and then during worship when Pastor Heidi was leading and she consecrated everything we participated at home and actually that Sunday my kids communed Tiffany and me and then they communed themselves and it was a beautiful way to to be a part of Holy Communion but at a distance um, and we felt fully a part of worship and fully a part of communion as we uh, participated in that sacrament at home and so I think Sunday as we have distance communion in our cars I think that's what I hope we all will feel also absolutely yeah. so whether you're at your car or if you prefer to stay at home and listen yep. on the radio absolutely. Uh, we encourage you to make that time as special as you can if you are a person who lives alone please know that communing oneself is a valid option so um, please know that you are welcome to participate too uh, for those of you who will be here on Sunday, uh, again, we encourage you to make it as special as you would like. Um, of course, we have to follow all of the safety rules, including rules about open containers, Pastor Mike, right, exactly. in um, your vehicle. So, so please choose juice or some other equivalent if you're planning to have um, something to drink. Or you um, may certainly commute in just one element, just one kind. So bread, crackers, um, even little pieces of tortilla, anything that is bread-like would certainly be an option for you as well. I am going to, with my family on Sunday, um, bring a couple of special things to make it um, uh, just a little more elegant in our car. And so I wanted to show this to you. These sit in my office, so you may have seen them before, um, but these are mem mementos that I picked up when I was in Israel in the year 2001. Um, this is a mosaic that is on the floor of a church called the Church of the Multiplication. Um, it is in Tagba, Israel. It's just kind of the northwest corner of the Sea of Galilee. Um, and so when it comes time for communion with my family, um, we'll be using some special items. So if you have some special family heirloom plates, or if you have um, some First Communion or Holy Communion mementos in your home, I just encourage you to take the next couple days to think about what might be nice for you to bring along so that time can be a little bit special. We also want you to know that if you completely forget or have no option to bring any communion with you, we will have some pre-prepared communion elements. Um, when you come on Sunday, as you proceed through the West Drive, we're going to have you come to the North Doors to pick up a bulletin. There will be a few uh, tips on a sheet along with the service. There will also be some communion elements for you to pick up. So they are, um, this one will not be served now because I've touched it, but um, inside of these small cups, they're little souffle cups, um, there is uh, a communion wafer. And we will have those in groups of one. And then we will also have some in groups of two. So if you choose that option, you can certainly just take that as you take your bulletin. And then during the communion service, you may use these items. And of course, then um, the containers are disposable uh, to try to keep everybody safe. Right. Um, so a couple other things we wanted to mention to you about um, the drive-in worship. As we uh, said, come in by the west door, please, and then proceed to the north. If the parking lot is full, you may certainly angle park on the east side of the building or the south side of the building, so you know, you'll just have to see uh, where you need to be. Um, it is preferred if you have to come to the North Station, um, like traveling or walking, please just send one member of your family, not the whole group. There will also be a coloring sheet for the students. Um, there will be uh, a hymnal if you would so choose. Um, that's something that you would take home and then keep for this time of pandemic. Um, 
there might be some other items like devotional books as well. Um, and we'll have a couple of uh, folks, some of our church leaders yeah. will be there to greet you and assist you with that. Try to stay as distanced as you can. Um, we will need you to stay in your cars for the duration of worship. And Pastor Mike, I know that's going to be kind of hard because the temptation will be there to tailgate, open the back end, and sit. Um, but the state of Minnesota is pretty firm on the fact that we need to remain in our vehicles for the duration of worship. Um, there are going to be some special things we're going to invite you to do. And so as Lutherans, we want to pre-warn you, the Pasch of the Peace is going to be a little different, isn't it, Pastor yes. Mike? We're going to ask, invite people to pass peace by blowing your horn. Help uh, letting us all hear each other pass the peace um, as a sign of that we are together in this, and so that will be part of our worship um, is honking our horns for peace. That'll be great, and I sure hope um, that the neighbors who live around here are already awake by right. 9 a.m. because right. I have a feeling we're going to be pretty uh, raucous <laughs> at that time. Um, and then friendly waves and smiles, of course, are encouraged too as you um, sit among your friends and family. Worship will be broadcast on 100.9 FM as usual, so whether you're at home or in the parking lot, you'll need to have your car radio ready to go. Um, and then for the communion time, since we know visuals are not going to be easy with the drive-in, um, we are going to live stream simultaneously on Facebook for just that communion time. Um, so if you bring with you a phone or some device that has internet, you should be able to get on our church Facebook page. That's uh, facebook.com slash First Lutheran BP, you'll be able to watch that time, and, and we're going to try to do that outside. So some of us will be able to see, but the rest of us for whom you know we won't be able to um, maybe view that far across, you'll be able to watch it right on your device. And then we will encourage family members, just like you said, Pastor Mike, to commune each other. And the words that you that we normally say as communion assistants will be right in the bulletin for you to, to, to share. And as I mentioned, self-communion is valid participation too. Then as worship concludes, um, we just invite you to be very patient so everyone can depart safely. Um, and then I do have to mention as well, uh, the state of Minnesota is requiring us to mention, of course, you know this, um, if you are well, we hope to see you. If you are not high risk or under any kind of quarantine from your doctor, um, that is a choice you can make to be here. But if you do have symptoms of a cough or cold or fever, if you have shortness of breath or recent exposure to COVID, you should be participating at home no matter what. And also there will be for your safety no access to the church building, uh, including the restrooms. Now, there could be an exception to that if there is an emergency, so please come to the north door if that is the case. I think that is all of the rules that we have, Pastor Mike. Yeah, well, we are super excited to worship with you on Sunday. We can't wait to gather in this parking lot worship that we can be one body together worshiping as we all love. We can't wait to see you Sunday morning, um, July 5th at 9 a.m. Happy Independence Day, everyone. This is a special opportunity for drive-in worship, not a weekly event, um, but we certainly want to hear your feedback after worship concludes. Um, we're thinking about some other fun stuff for this That's summer right. as well. So again, happy Independence Day. God bless each of you with health and safety, and we hope to see you very soon. Thank you. Take care. God bless.